recognize is uh, Ms. Luna from Florida for five minutes. Beforehand, I want to publicly say congratulations <laughs> on your uh, great news. Thank you. It's like the best kept secret in Washington. I'm expecting, so yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> and I, I thought it was interesting. How many members of Congress have delivered a I'll, baby? I'll when be the, number 12, so it's point point one percent. 20 in the history of Congress. 12. 12. 12, 12 female, 12 uh, <laughs> ladies have delivered babies while in Congress. I think that's a pretty interesting statistic. So uh, <laughs> congratulations, and uh, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Chairman. Um, I just I want to start out by saying I think investments made on behalf of the American people by assets managers should serve as, in the interest of the investor, not woke ideologies being pushed by corporate financial institutions and to entities like the SEC. Um, Honorable Reyes, I actually really liked how you kind of unloaded with some facts. And so if I have time at the end of this, I want to yield to just kind of let you speak on what you think it's important for the American people to know. But if I could just real quickly ask you a few questions. What are the challenges faced by companies in dealing with increasing numbers of shareholder proposals, especially those related to ESG metrics? Well, they're being forced to themselves choose a path that may not be um, yielding the best returns to their own investors. They may be forced to um, make choices that push their own customers away from their own products. I mean, there, there are a whole host um, uh, of different problems that this type of pressure can have on a particular company. Um, and then on the other side, there are a lot of problems, as we've already uh, discussed um, extensively with investors um, and the potential loss of, uh, you know, capital investments. Um, all of those uh, things are problematic, Congresswoman. How often are clients informed that their asset managers are prior prioritizing ESG metrics over their financial return? I, I, no, their asset managers are required to disclose what they're investing in, but I don't think it's readily um, apparent to most um, uh, people that their investments are necessarily being invested with an ESG um, bent, right? So uh, again, transparency laws and, and requirements would behoove, I think, the whole process. And that's what we're here again to talk about. N not the policy, but the process, how this is being effectuated. Is it being done fairly and in a free market or is it being done coercively? I think it's very interesting that obviously there are many things that my colleagues across the aisle and I probably disagree on, probably agree on some and mostly disagree on most. Um, but I think it's very interesting that in this type of situation that you have people that sometimes blindly trust and really don't know that they might necessarily be investing in something that goes against what their moral principles are or whatever it might be. So yeah, I don't think most of us even uh, un understand the power that we have. To, to vote our shares, the vast majority of Americans are working hard and trying to raise families and, and not paying attention. So that's part of the problem. They rely too heavily on uh, proxy services or their asset manager to make those decisions for them. Again, let me make this point, Congresswoman. We, we've never disputed your own ability to invest whatever assets you have the way that you want to, including an ESG um, program. But when you're an asset manager investing on behalf of others, it's an entirely and wholly different circumstance, and you have to live up to that fiduciary duty. So we have about two minutes left, and I want to yield the rest of my time to you. What is the most important takeaway for the American people to know from this hearing today? Well, again, I'd like to point back to the three things that we talked about. One was the DOL rule, um, but we've already covered that, I think, sufficiently. The second, uh, going back to why the SEC would not exclude a shareholder proposal that violates state laws against anti-discrimination laws, and that's something that I hope that the committee uh, will take up and have a hearing on. The SEC could have easily excluded that. They chose not to. And again, this is in the um, context of proxy groups. It, it was because of my contention, uh, the pressure of a proxy service that the shareholders garnered enough votes. They didn't win, but they came a, a razor's edge of, of prevailing 47% to literally put their own company in harm's way by violating a number of state laws. Um, so that's one. The other is going back to the, uh, it's going back to FERC. And if this committee would look at organizations like NZAM and uh, Climate Action 100, again, $68 trillion or $59 trillion AUM, and view them to see if they are a holding company 
uh, as we believe they should be construed under FERC. Um, they're acquiring more than 10 million in other utilities. Uh, it's problematic because if they are a holding company, then they're violating a number of FERC regulations, including owning more than 20% of a particular utility. Uh, they own multiple utilities in excess of 20%. FERC requires asset managers to be passive, and these horizontal organizations are anything but passive. They are bluntly and very self-aggrandizingly um, uh, clear about what their intent is, and um, that, we believe, also violates FERC's uh, prohibitions uh, on asset managers being um, uh, not passive and trying to uh, operate um, the utilities. So those are the areas, again, that I would like for the committee to be able to take up. Again, appreciate your time. Congratulations to you. I have six kids of my own, and this is the best <laughs> news I heard all day. Thank you, Chairman. I yield my time. <laughs> Can I yield back? Hey, before you click on the next video, if y'all could do me a big favor and hit that like button. The algorithm loves it, and so do I, because it helps promote these videos and get the message out about what our government has been doing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications, because every time I put out a video, you want to know about it, right? Thanks again, and have a good one. See you on the next one. Peace.